Good morning, it's JP from Fox Hall Woodworks. Today, we're gonna to build a TV console for our porch. Stick around and enjoy. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee first. We start off this project by cutting all the parts for the sides to length of a miter saw. I'm using Select Pine from a big box store and two sheets of Craftsman Birch plywood from our local hardware dealer. A link for the cut list and plans can be found in the description below. Next, we're going to drill pocket holes in all the stretchers for the sides. I'm using one and a quarter inch pocket screws with a depth set of three quarter inch. Next, assemble the sides with the pocket screws. Then using glue and brads, fasten the side panels to the stretchers. Rip all the parts for the shelves using the table saw. The shell pieces were too long for my crosscut sled, so I had to use a clampable straight edge to cut the shells to length with a circular saw. Now add pocket holes to the front and sides of the shelves. Quick tip, if your piece is too large, take your pocket hole jig to the workpiece. Using clamps, attach the trim pieces to the front of the shelf using pocket screws. Using two spacers, attach the shelf to the sides of the middle divider with pocket screws. Now tack in the middle trim piece with brads. Now cut the middle divider to length with your crosscut sled. Make sure you square up one side before cutting the final length. Install the center dividers using spacers, a clamp, square, and pocket screws. Really? Drill more pocket holes in the front dividers and install the front trim. For the next step, rip all the panels for the doors to width. Assemble the doors by flushing up the panels and screwing them in from the back side into the front stretchers. Using a Vix bit, pre-drill self-centered holes into the hinges and fasten them in with the supplied screws. I'm using a drill, but I would recommend using a screwdriver so you don't strip the screws. Next, align the doors with eighth inch spacers on the bottom and the side closest to the center. Pre-drill and screw the hinges into place. Now we're going to cut all the parts for the top to length on the miter saw. I don't have a joiner, so I'm going to use the factory edge of the 2x6s to rip a parallel edge. This is why it's important to find the straightest boards you can when you're picking out your lumber. Next, we're going to plane all the parts to the same thickness. Line up the boards as flush as possible. Use a straight edge and mark the positions for each biscuit. Align the biscuit joiner with each mark and make the slots. The biscuit joiner is not necessary, but it makes it a lot easier to align the boards. Next, align the biscuits. Use more glue than needed, then clamp the edges together with all the clamps you own. Remove any excess glue with a damp rag. Using a belt sander, sand down the high spots and any dried up glue. Sand all the tops of the sides with a random orbit sander, starting with 120 grit and working your way up to 220 grit. Now I'm going to add a decorative chamfer to all the top edges. I'm using a cordless trim router with a quarter inch chamfer bit. Rip the pieces for the backing. I can only fit 4x4 four four sheets in my car, so I'll have to use two pieces to cover the full length of the backside. A 
Attach the back with an inch and a quarter crown staples. I like using crown staples because they hold better than brad nails, especially in thinner sheet goods. Make sure you square the cabinet when attaching the back. This will prevent the cabinet from racking. I applied a weather pickling stain to the base cabinet. Then I applied a worn navy stain to the top. Once all the parts dried overnight, I sanded down all the surfaces of 320 grit and applied three coats of spar urethane. After the top coat cured overnight, I used a shelf pin jig to drill holes for adjustable shelves in each section. After everything was finished, my buddy Randy came over and helped me move the console into its new home, and then my wife worked her magic to decorate it. Thank you for hanging out. If you like what you see, please help me support my channel by subscribing, clicking the notification bell, and hit that thumbs up button. You can also join me on Instagram. Have a great day.